Good afternoon, guys. Thanks for watching again. Um, this is part four now of the build. Um, if you have been watching from the first part or the first stage or whatever I called it, but this is part four, stage four, if you want to call it that. And yeah, this is quite a, quite an interesting stage because this is where you start to sort of see the everything come together. It's quite complicated and fiddly, but you know, it can be done by, you know, anyone that, you know, is quite competent enough with mechanics. So yeah, um, it's quite interesting this stage. It's more going to be to do with the boosting and the fueling side of stuff. Because we've done all the clutch and turbo, exhaust, all that stuff. This is more now sort of finishing off the front now. So obviously I think I last left off on the slam panel where I was starting to put that back onto the car. And I mentioned that I took it off because I knew I'm doing the intercooler pipes and stuff at a later stage. So yeah, on this, this particular stage, you going to see the intercooler I do a really cooler conversion uh, all the turbo intake pipe injectors fuel pressure regulator diverter valve I think I replaced the coil packs as well which is something that you know is quite good to do once you know you're going to be tuning up the car and um, yeah it's quite a quite an interesting video so if you're new to the channel as well there is another few parts to this so watch, you know, watch stage one, two, three, and um, thanks to all the new subscribers as well. I've noticed quite a few new subscribers on there. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And I can assure you I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to keep making videos. This is like stuff I'm digging out from my archives, you know, all the pictures and stuff. So there has been revisions to the car as well that I've done in the past six months. So I will be adding those on as well after I've finished the fifth part. Once I've got done with showing the old build, then I'll show you what I've done after that. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And um, I hope you enjoy. Have a good evening and see you next time. All right, guys. So I began with just getting rid of the old coil packs because these tend to fail when they're quite old. So... Just replace them with some new ones as a matter of precaution really so i got some red and black ones on i think it was awesome gti i got them from and then i just um, started with the intake manifold took off the injectors fuel pressure regulator and um, to paint it really it's just easier once it's all off got some leon cupra injectors for it and bribed my girlfriend with a cup of tea just to paint it up which she did quite a good job of to be fair it's in um, black it looks much nicer in black i think then i did the intercooler i actually bought the wrong intercooler so if this was the correct size and dimension and everything it was just the buy and plate that i needed and this was a tube and fin so don't make that mistake because you will be advised by your tuner to go with a buy and plate version which is a lot better and stronger so I've done a comparison so you can see what the difference is between the two. Then I got my turbo intake pipe for the K280. It's a lot bigger, quite fiddly to fit as well. You've got to bend stuff around. And um, yeah, I think that one was made by SFS, if I'm not mistaken, but there is other versions out there. I got a forge diverter valve as well, the 008 to go with that. And then I got a relocation kit from um, Creations Motorsport, which I do actually change because I've been uh, advised against that. Then I moved on to the induction kit. Got a nice Ramy induction kit, but I had to change the mass airflow meter for a Leon Cupra R1, which is three... Ah, oh, no, actually, I lie, not three inch. I think it's 80 millimeter. Then I had to do jiggery-pokery with this damn thing. It was a nightmare for the map sensor. So you can buy some pipes, I just modified my own and made it work. And it's stuck and worked well. So yeah, cut the front panel out for the wheelie cooler. This was quite a job, took quite long. Measuring it up and getting it all dialed in and straight. So I cut that up, drilled the top of the slam panel, as you can see the two holes there. Sort of mocked up my pipes, this took long. 
because you just don't know which way to go. You're trying to make the airflow as smooth as possible, no sharp bends and that type of stuff because that's what decreases the the actual performance. So yeah, I managed to mock it all up, worked through the night actually, trying to get this nice and straight. And um, once everything was tidy, I just started tightening it all up and testing it all out. And then I done a startup. Hello. All right, so finally we've got everything back on the car. Uh, just finished the intercooler, boost pipes, um, obviously primed the turbo. Um, so it's ready to go now. I'll give you this a fire up and see what happens. Hopefully nothing blows up, I suppose. smoke So after everything started up fine and everything was working okay, I just sort of started to get everything back together now, headlights, grill, front bumper, which I had to get an R32 bumper actually because it was the only bumper that could accommodate the intercooler, it needed a lot of trimming as well, I had to trim off a lot of it which took time as well, but um, yeah it looks nice in the end, it was an all over good result with that. Then I just finalized bits and pieces in the engine bay, finished off the oil catch can and just sort of made sure everything was okay. Then I called the main man, the boss. He came and have a look, gave me the thumbs up and um, yeah, it was good to go then. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that.